We're on um, question one of uh, the summer 2012 14 paper, binomial expansion. And I'm going to do this with, uh, where well, it's 3 plus 2x to the 5. So what I'd want to do first, we want to find the full expansion. We need to get all the terms out of this. So I'm going to start by thinking about the expansion of a plus b to the 5, and I'll deal with the, the 3 and the 2x later on. a plus b to the 5 is a to the 5, and then we've got, I think once you get experience in this, you know that this is going to be 5 next, don't you? But we'll, we'll write it in full for now so we see all the patterns appearing. And then we would have, instead of 1 and 4, we'd have 2 and 3, a cubed b squared. And then we have it the other way around, because the, the power of a is going down by 1 each time. And then we have a to the 1, b to the 4, and then finally we end up with b to the 5. Now, you can either use your calculator for these, although they're not too hard to work out in your head. Um, the, here the, the 4 would cancel with the 4 times 2 times 2 times 1 in the 5 factorial, leaving it with 5. Here you would have 5 times 4, but the 2 there would cancel with the 4 to leave with 5 times 2, so 10. Here you've got, again, the 5, the 3 factorial cancels with the 3 factorial that's part of the 5 factorial. So we've got 5 times 4, but we're halving it, so it's 5 times 2 again, so 10. have a 5a b to the 4 and a b to the 5 at the very <coughs> end. So that's the expansion of a plus b to the 5. We now need to, to focus in <coughs> on the question which said 3 plus 2x to the 5. So our final stage is replacing a with 3 and b with 2x. So that's 3 to the 5 plus 5 times 3 to the 4 times 2x. And I'm going to, I'm going to write it in form to start with and then in a minute sort out the details. We're in core two now, aren't we? So you've got a calculator that you can very carefully put things into and, and work out these. Um, three to the five is going to be two, four, three. Um, this one is going to be eight hundred and ten. Um, We've not got more than 540, we've not got 1080. Yeah. Uh, remember the 2 is squared as well. <coughs> so it's 10 times 27 times 4x squared, because it's everything inside the bracket squared. Here we've got 720. Then we would have 240x to the 4. Am I getting these right? Yeah, <laughs> that was good. yeah good. And uh, 32 x to the 5 at the end of it. There's quite a lot of number crunching going on there. But you have got a calculator, haven't you? The, the, what, you know, where do people go wrong? It's that, it's that bit that somebody, somebody did it, that the 2x is all squared. So when we're working this out, we need to remember this becomes a 4x squared times by the 27 times by the 10. Right, the next part of this question, part 2, which was only two marks, said, hence find the binomial expansion of this, this is where we've changed the middle term. Now, if, I think we can see here, 
If it had been a minus 2x instead of a plus 2x, then the, the even powers would have stayed the same, but the odd powers would have remained negative, wouldn't they? So that one would become negative and that one and that one. So if we look at part 2, then 3 plus 2x to the 5 plus 3 minus 2x to the 5 is going to be the thing that we just worked out. Added to the thing where it would be the same, but all of the odd powers of x would be negative. So we're going to have 2, 4, 3 minus 8 times 10x plus 1080 x squared minus 720 x cubed plus 240 to the 4 minus 32x to the 5. Now if we if we go through that and carefully collect together like terms. We've got 243 and another 243. So that's 486. But the 810x there, we've got a minus 810x there. So that we've lost the x term. We've got two lots of 1080x squared. The 720x cubed is cancelled out. We've got two lots of the 240x to the 4 and the 32x to the 5 is cancelled out. So that's what we end up with. I think.